Now to this story that we first told you about at 5 o'clock tonight. It's one of those giant pieces of history that you probably think, you don't even think much of when you drive by it, right? But an Ariskany businessman wants to give this giant old industrial mill a future, putting people to work there once again. Let's get the latest on this from News Channel 2's Jolene Ferris. It used to be a hulk. Now it's a dinosaur. Waterbury Felt in Ariskany put hundreds of people to work in the 18 and 1900s. Jim Kernan bought the half million square foot complex in Ariskany at a tax sale and wants to restore it to its former glory. We're looking at trying to um, reestablish uh, the Utica Rome area as a, an economic, um, vi economically viable area. We see the opportunity coming with the, with the nanotech and the other uh, things that are going on. You need to have uh, the, the contractors and the builders to be able to support that. Some parts of the building are run down and leak. Others look as though workers just walked away from the looms at the end of a shift. Kernan wants to turn it into an apprenticeship training center where people can learn the trades and earn a good living. But the job and the apprenticeship is the old-fashioned way of training people in the trades, and it's a, it's a good career. Plumbing, electrician, carpenters, uh, steam fitters, um, uh, uh, iron workers. But plans are on hold for now because of a legal battle with the former owner. What can be removed from the building, how it can be removed, what access uh, we have to allow the prior owner, if any. A focal point of the battle, the bell, rich in history, which sits on top of the plant. That is a central piece of, uh, of, uh, of the dispute. The bell is something that's been with the village of Ariskany and with the, the plant here for many, many years. It was able to herald the, the arrival of uh, the Marquis de Lafayette when he came to visit uh, uh, Colonel Lansing here in the village of Ariskany. Once the legal dispute is cleared up, Kernan plans to offer three to five year programs for electricians, steam fitters, plumbers, and iron workers, and a renewed sense of purpose and pride for an old industrial giant with lots of history and, he hopes, a future. There is a court date looming November 12th. Reporting in Ariskany, Jolene Ferris, News Channel 2. Okay, Jolene.